I'm from Sussex, so I've bought you some local Sussex oh, honey all the way from Thank you so Brighton. much, I love it. To kick off then with um, Poo being, obviously we know his favourite food is honey. If there was one food that you had to have for the rest of your life and not live without, what would it be? Um, I mean, I, I like seaweed, <laughs> so, so it's very opposite of, of honey, but uh, <laughs> seaweed makes me very happy. We should be working this weekend, Robin. But I, I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend. All hands on deck. You won't be coming to the cottage. Well, it can't be helped. Your life is happening now, right in front of you. What to do, what to do, what to do. What to do indeed. Who? Christopher Robin. No. You've obviously directed a wide variety of films from Monsters Ball, Quantum of Solace, to Finding Neverland, and now this one. Um, what was it that attracted you to the project? Um, you know, I, I, Pooh has this incredible quality, uh, which I think no other bear or stuffed animal has. Uh, Pooh's Red Sweater is about the heart, and I think that's what the movie's about. It's about, you know, basically reliving, you know, re rediscovering the kid inside you, but really it's rediscovering the, the, the love you have for the people you, you care for, and that you can't, there's, you can't spend enough time with them. And, and that's really, I think, what I wanted to make a film about, because I think uh, we're also disconnected and disjointed this day, that I think the more love and joy for life and for each other we can have, the better. Pooh, why are you here? Oh, yes, and I need your help. I've lost all of my friends. Let's get to the bottom of this. I read somewhere um, in an interview that um, a lot of the time a theme that runs quite common through a lot of your films is with the kind of title character, I guess, dealing with stuff from his past. How much do you think that sort of came into Christopher Robin? Uh, there definitely a, a lot. You know, I, most of my stories are redemptive stories. Most of the stories, I, I do feel like our entire life, we're dealing with our childhood issues or our past. So it's a constant evolution we're going through as, as human beings. And I always get, you know, go, go back in my own past because you ultimately always try to, to either forget or escape. And, and it's very hard sometimes to be confronted with and deal with it. <laughs> and I think that's the beauty about Pooh. Pooh makes you confront your past, but with, with no judgment, it's pure love and forgiveness. And that's the, 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 the beauty about it, that he just opens your heart and you just have to smile. <laughs> because it's, uh, he makes, you know, everything he says has, is so funny and childlike, but also has so much philosophy. That's why it's a movie which is for children and grown-ups. It's like a classic Disney movie I wanted to make for any kind of generation. And because of these Pooh-isms, they would never, you could never do a movie that's just for kids because they, they also have that wisdom in them that appeals to everyone. And talking of Pooh-isms, is there one motto that you kind of live your life by, a bit like Pooh? I mean, there are many, but the one of my favorite Pooh-isms, Poo -is which isn't in the movie, because there are a lot of great ones in the movie, <laughs> but is, uh, is uh, weeds are flowers too, once you get to know them. And I think in the time of the selfie we live in, I think it's a lovely, lovely little quote. I wonder which way. I always get to where I'm going by walking away from where I have been. Do you? That's the way I do it. Obviously, Vinny the Pooh is a big part of Christopher Robin's childhood. Um, is there something that um, really takes you back to your childhood, whether it's a film mm. or a toy? Or... But, I mean, very much so. You know, I, my, my parents didn't have a TV in their house, so I always had to entertain, entertain myself versus being entertained. And we had a, a forest behind our house, and I always went into the forest to play, so I had a plenty of my own imaginary friends <laughs> in the forest <laughs> to entertain myself. <laughs> Christopher Robin, it's you playing again. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can find Piglet. I've already stayed far too long. Hello, everyone. It's Christopher Robin! So nice to see you all again. Why, thank you. What's your favorite thing about going to the cinema? Uh, truly, you know, I, I like, like, especially a film like Christopher Robin, where it has a lot of humor and you enjoy yourself and laugh a lot. I, I like going to the cinema to have a shared experience because it's very different than you watching something at home. And I really hope that there will be a, uh, that people will keep going to cinemas and will even go more to cinemas because the the sort of experience we have together, it is is just a, a it's a beautiful one, way to enjoy storytelling. Oh, bother! Oh, dear, dear. 
I don't remember being cheery. <laughs> People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. No, Pooh, that's not the... Oh, never mind. <laughs>